Okay, so welcome back guys. We're in Traverse Town for uh, the first time now. Kingdom Hearts. Another thing I think I should point out is some of the characters in here will look sort of different compared to some of the ones you've seen before. So like for example, here's a perfect example. This guy right here is a remodeled version of Titus. As you can see the way his hairdo is. I wonder what happened to mom and dad. Yes, I wonder what happened to mom and dad. See those candles burning over there were made specially created by Moogles. Even if you stuff one out, they come back to life in no time. You probably need magic to put them all out. Yes, you need wind magic. Um, so, so anyways, um, you're going to talk about, they refer to Moogles, they're referring to Final Fantasy Moogles. So this is a Moogle from Final Fantasy, if you uh, have never seen what a Moogle looks like. They're magical creatures. They're not, not like in the world of Harry Potter, where Moogles are supposed to be like uh, human beings, if I got that right. We're talking about like magical um, entities that uh, look like, kind of look like a pig with a big nose. And here's Sid, here's another Final Fantasy character. He's uh, usually the engineer that usually pops up in every Final Fantasy game. Aw, oh, it's only a kid. I'm not a kid, my name's Sora. Okay, okay, simmer down. So I have a long face, Sora. You lost something? Well, maybe. Huh? Traverse Town. Is there really another world? My name's Sid. You know what I'm talking about. This isn't for sure. You ain't your island. And yeah, I guess I better start looking for Kyrie and Riku. Well, good luck with that flutter you go. If you ever run into trouble, you can come up with me. I'll look out for you. Okay, here's another save room. First district. So first of all, we have to go traveling to. We have to go uh, to district, the second district, essentially, in order to get more stuff. So that's what we're gonna do. Second district. So we're gonna go in here. Find a cutscene. So as soon as you come in here. So his heart is gone, and it was absorbed by this heartless. Uh oh, they're back! It's those creatures from the island. Okay, if you ever get surrounded, just put them all on one side. Now this thing that these guys are dropping is money. Everybody's gonna pick it up. The bigger ones are worth more. The green ones are just pellets of Recommend leveling up a few times, because there's a character coming up you're going to be fighting. Well, you don't have to win it, but it's always nice to win it. Okay, so... So, ten more, and I'll put them on a level. hit kills. I like that. Sounds nice to me. Okay. Yeah, learn scan. Okay, that's the ability I was looking for. Okay, this is the one that I want. This is probably the most handy one in the entire game, at least in my opinion. This will allow you to see enemy stats and all that. Well, enemy um, HP. So you know how much health they have left and vice versa. So that you can tell the shadows don't really have much health. You can see it. Okay. It leads to a magic room. Not allowed to use magic yet. I forget exactly what triggers the next cutscene, so I always come here. I think it's you have to do the you have to go to the second district and then you can just go back to the first one. Technically speaking, if you just leave the room and come back, all these heartlesses will come after you. Let's jump up 
here. There's a lot of rooms here that look like you can go into them, but they're not. They're just there for decorations. So you're going to fight these heartlesses, and you'll kill them all. Make sure you have three potions. Potions. Just in case. So. Take out. Okay. Over here, trigger a cutscene. Oh. Wait, is it, is it here you trigger it? Or? Yeah. So I'm found, huh? So yeah, as soon as you talk to. Sid, the second time, save your game, and as soon as you leave this place, you will be ambushed by a certain somebody that you've probably seen from another certain game. And they'll still keep coming, as long as you continue to wield that. They'll come at you out of nowhere. Who are you? And they'll keep on coming, coming after you, as long, as long as you keep wielding the Keyblade. Why? Why? Why would it choose a kid like you? Hey, what's that supposed, supposed to mean? Never mind. Never mind. Now, let's see, see that keyblade. What? what? There's, There's no, no way, way you're getting this. this. All right. right. Have, have it your way. your way. It's Leon. Oh, I'm surprised you can actually dodge that. He, he hits me with it. In case you don't know who this is, this is uh, Squall. Sliding dash, okay, cool. And he just did. Ugh. You're gonna. <laughs> he just falls down. <laughs> I'm the great ninja you fear. I went easy on him. Looks like things are worse than we thought. A lot worse. How <laughs> many times do I have to tell you? Don't call me that. It's like, I think you overdid it, Squall. How many times do I have to tell you not to call me that? It's Leon. So yeah, so, so Leon, Squall, I haven't played Final Fantasy VIII, but from my understanding of Final Fantasy VIII, is the one game that... Wait, is it A? Yeah, That's the one where uh, Squall Leon is from. So, there's Riku. The Hollow Bastion. I can tell because it's in a waterfall. Rising platform. Hollow Bastion. Hollow Bastion. And there's the kingdom. Sora. Kairi. And there should be some treasure chests up there. Oh, oh that looks like a familiar figure. Maybe her name is Maleva. What, what, what was it, May? Maleva? Or something like that. You know, she's uh, from Sleeping Beauty, wasn't she? Sure is spooky. I'm not scared. <gasps> but she died in Final Fantasy VII. How did she live? Come on, lazy bum. Wake up. Kyrie, what are you doing here? You okay? Oh, I guess. guess those creatures that attacked you are after the keyblade. Keyblade? But it's your heart they really want. Because you wield the keyblade. I'm so glad that you're okay, Kyrie. Kyrie? Kyrie? Who are, are you talking, talking about? I'm the great ninja you hmm? 
I think you might have overdone it, Squall. That's Leon. The Keyblade. The Keyblade. Yeah. We had to get it away you from you. You shake off those creatures. creatures. It turns out that's how they I'm were tracking, tracking you. It was the only way to conceal your heart from them. But it won't work for long. Still, hard to believe that you, of all people, could have chosen it. That's another thing the Keyblade can do. It chooses its own wielder, and it always goes to their wielder by well, by force. I suppose beggars can't be choosers. Why don't you start making sense? What's going on here? <laughs> okay. You know there are many other worlds out there, beside your castle in this town, right? Well, you're supposed to be a secret. They've been secret, because they've never been connected. What? Until now. Parallel dimensions. When Bicep. Came, everything changed. I feel like I'm watching the Avatar now. The ones who attacked the last you, you remember? Those without hearts. The darkness in people's hearts. That's what attracts them. And there is darkness within within every heart. If there's ever evil in this world, it lurks in the hearts of men. Edward M. Morrison. He was studying the Heartless. He recorded all of his findings in a very detailed report. Can we see it? His pages are scattered everywhere. Too many worlds. Oh, then maybe the king went to find them. Yes, those were my thoughts exactly. We gotta find them quick. That's right. The Keyblade. So, this is the key. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. The Heartless have great fear of the Keyblade. That's why they'll keep coming after you, no matter what. Well, I didn't ask for this. The Keyblade chooses its master, and it chose you. So, tough luck. How did all this happen? I remember being in my room. Wait a minute. What happened to my home? My, my island. island. Riku. Tyree. You know what? I really don't know. He never knows.